Hi, I'm Mike Merritt, and today we're going to do a big picture overview of what's covered in most intro stats courses. So, in general, in these statistical sciences, we're interested in studying some population. And usually, the population is too large to study the entire population, and so we take a sample from that population, and we're going to try and use that to generalize back to our population to make statements about them. So, for instance, we might be interested in the mean of the population, and we'll take a sample, and we use our sample mean, mu hat, or x bar, as our best estimate of the population mean. So, most intro stats courses revolve around these two ideas, going back and forth between populations and samples. So, I'm going to try and give a big picture overview of what's generally covered in an, in an intro stats course, and in our course in particular, what we're going to cover in each of the modules. In the first module, which we're going to call module one, we're going to talk about how to collect and summarize a sample. So here we talk about how to get our hands on some data. Different ways of collecting um, so, which we call sampling techniques. We'll talk about things like simple random samples or stratified samples, different study designs. So maybe observational or experimental. In observational settings, things like cross-sectional studies or cohorts or case controls. Once we have some data, we'll talk about different ways of summarizing it. Um, first, graphically. So different plots that we can make like box plots, histograms, scatter plots, things like these, as well as numeric um, summaries, often called descriptive statistics or summary statistics. So things like the sample mean, sample median, standard deviation, correlation, and things like those. Then um, courses usually move into this section where we're talking about um, if we know the truth for the entire population, what sorts of things can show up when we collect the sample of data? And in our course, we're going to cover this in module number two. So these ideas here are what get called probability theory. So in this section of a course, it's where we talk about if we know the truth for the entire population, what sorts of things are likely to show up when we collect a sample of data? So these are often where you cover things like um, probability rules. So the probability of A or B happening, the probability of A given B, these sorts of things. And then you often cover probability distributions. So this is where you cover things like the normal distribution. Um, and then often other probability distributions are covered, things like maybe the binomial distribution or Poisson or exponential or different courses cover um, different distributions. The normal is one that's always in there. And then you usually cover um, the concept of a sampling distribution. Okay? And this helps us understand if we knew the truth for the entire population. That is, if we knew, say, what the mean was, what the true standard deviation was, what the true shape of the distribution was in the entire population. If we collect a sample of data, what sample means are likely to show up when we collect some data. This helps us understand how samples behave. If we know the truth, how, how likely are certain things to show up when we collect some data? So this is not actually statistics. Okay? Statistics is where we learn to reverse the direction of this arrow and say, given our sample, what do we think the truth may be for the population? Or what statements can we make about the population? Okay. This gets called statistical inference. Okay, and again, so here, this is what most people think of as actually statistics. In our course, we're going to cover this in module number three. So again, this is where we move into a more real-world scenario where we don't know the truth about the population, we have to collect some data. And given our sample estimates, what statements can we make about the population? And here we learn about things like 
confidence intervals, um, hypothesis tests, and p-values. And so um, the courses tend to progress through um, different forms of confidence intervals and hypothesis tests depending on the type of data we have. We have numeric variables and or categorical variables. We'll also talk about parametric versus non-parametric approaches and a little bit, sometimes you get coverage on things like bootstrap approaches or simulation-based approaches. Okay. And then the rest of an intro stats course is filling out all the details in here, all the different methods of analysis depending on if we're analyzing numeric or categorical variables. So let's spend a little bit of time going over exactly what's covered in the eight modules of our course. First, a reminder that in an intro stats course, we're generally moving back and forth between the ideas of a population and a sample. Sometimes we're going to talk about summarizing a sample of data. Sometimes we're going to talk about if we know the truth in a population, what's likely to show up when we collect some data, or now that we have a sample of data, what generalizations can we make about the population? So in module one, this is where we cover summarizing, well, collecting, and summarizing a sample. Then, in the second module in the course, we move into talking about probability theory. And again, this helps us understand how do samples behave. If we know the truth for the entire population, how likely are certain things to show up when we collect some data? In module number three, We learn the foundations of statistical inference. And again, by this we mean how can we take a sample of data and use that to make statements about a population. In module number two and module number three, all of these ideas are going to be put in the context of estimating a single mean. That's if we have one numeric variable and we're going to summarize that using a mean. And these will be used to lay the foundation for what is a confidence interval, what's a hypothesis test, and what's a p-value. Then quite often in the sciences we're more interested in looking at the effect of some variable x on some y variable. In module number four we start to lay the foundation for this. Here we talk about bivariate or two-variable analysis. We'll also start to define what does it mean for a method to be parametric versus non-parametric. And then most of the course that follows from here is going to involve looking at the relationship between two variables. So we're going to look at things like, say, what is the effect of some drug, let's say drug A or drug B, on blood pressure. Or we may ask questions like, what's the effect, say, of smoking? Again, let's think of it as categorized as yes or no, on whether or not someone develops lung cancer. And again, we'll think of that as being yes or no. Or we may want to ask questions like, what's the effect of, say, your years of education on a salary? Now, the way we'll think about ways we can analyze this type of data, plots we can make appropriate um, methods of analysis, depend largely on the type of variables we have. We can see in this first example, the drug, which is going to be our x variable, is categorical. 
right, category A or B. Our Y variable, which is blood pressure, is a numeric variable. Okay, so analyzing the effect of a categorical variable on a numeric variable is going to be covered in module number five. Again, this is the effect of a categorical X variable on a numeric Y variable. And it's important to mention here that often these get different names that get used. Um, sometimes categorical variables may be referred to as factors or qualitative variables. And numeric variables sometimes are referred to as quantitative variables or continuous variables. We're going to refer to them as categorical or numeric. Um, and so in this section, we'll talk about things like the two-sample t-test, analysis of variance, and, and other related concepts. We can see in the second example here, the effect of smoking. And smoking is our x variable, and here it's a categorical variable. Whether or not someone has lung cancer is going to be our Y variable, and this is also categorical. We're going to cover anal analysis of relationship between two categorical variables in module number six. Again, X being categorical, and what effect does that have on Y, which is a categorical variable? In this section of the course, we're going to cover things like the chi-squared test, Fisher's test, um, odds ratios, and, and these related topics. And in the final example here, you can see we're looking at the effect of years of education, which is going to be a numeric variable. And what effect does that have on salary, our Y variable, which is numeric? And you can probably guess, this is going to be covered in module number seven. So here, we're going to look at the effect of a numeric variable on a Y variable, and that's numeric. In this section of the course, we're going to discuss things like correlation, simple linear regression, and a bunch of other things related to that. Now, often there's other variables, especially in observational type data, that need to be accounted for. So take that second example, where we're looking at the effect of smoking on lung cancer. There's going to be other variables that are both related to smoking as well as related to lung cancer. So we can imagine the smokers may have different types of jobs than non-smokers, and this may be affecting their risk of lung cancer. So there's other X variables that we need to account for. In module number eight, we start to lay the foundation for doing this. So. Here, we're going to look at analyzing the effect of some variable x1 on y adjusted for other variables. So this is usually done using multiple regression methods. So again, we can think of trying to estimate some y value as a function of other variables. At the end of the course, we're going to start to build that um, bridge and discuss that topic, and usually in a second stats course, um, a course on regression models is where we start to really build up those concepts. So the entire intro stats course revolves around all these ideas that we've talked about here and just filling in all of the details and all of the meat around this general large overview. Hope you guys liked the video. Stick around guys, because we got lots more. Statistics is so much fun.